Ben was talking out loud, videoing it, and then it cut off on me. Usually when that happens, I think that usually means that Spirit, you would rather just enjoy this moment with me without having anything videoed. But I still do like to video. I love your name, Lila. My daughter's middle name is Lila, which is an old family name from my husband's side of the family, the Yorks. It's been about three years since I cleaned your headstone, Lila. And anytime I drive through the cemetery, I literally just wait for my eyes to capture, or be captured rather, by whichever headstone seems to call my name first. And today, Lila is your lucky day. <laughs> want to call it that yeah so there's one particular person who likes to watch my YouTube videos but not because she enjoys watching them rather she enjoys criticizing me and she says to people why does Natalie talk out loud while cleaning headstones well I wish Many more people could come to the cemetery with me to clean headstones and see what a peaceful moment it is. And I wish many more people would not be afraid of speaking out loud to souls who are buried beneath the ground. I do believe Lilla is here always. This is her final resting place. She's always gonna be available anywhere. Okay, spider, there you go. So yes, I do talk out loud in a peaceful cemetery to the souls who are buried here, who I'm cleaning their headstones. I find it very peaceful for me. It doesn't mean I'm crazy or schizophrenic or a lunatic to find peace in talking out loud to souls who were once living in this life. And now, their spirit continues to live in this life. Even, look how, you died, Lilla, like, a really long time ago, 1949. And yet your spirit, all of our spirit never dies. The one thing I forgot to do before I started cleaning here was to look for a water source. Ah, oh, perfect, there's one behind me. Anyway, Lilla, 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 what a beautiful name. I do like when I, coming out, when I come out here to the cemetery, after I clean, and I upload my photos to find a grave on the site. I do like to research the name as well. I have the Big Oviedo book back home where many of these souls laid to rest here can be found in that book. And I love to um, find your history, see what, see what life was all about. Lilla, I look forward to looking you up, your name. Today, I just looked up our house on Google, and I was surprised to see all the information that came up about it. We've been in our home for like nine years. And so all of the old pictures from when we first bought our home nine years ago came up. That is also spirit. You have been able to see what our home did look like before we bought it. It's a nice moment. We are getting ready to put our home on the market, take advantage of this market, and actually.
actually the most beautiful thing about it is that we have no idea where we're going. <laughs> we just want to sell. These are the times, this world. COVID and gas prices and the Ukraine and war and everything else. We just have to find our own peace always and not worry so much about being judged by others. Like that one person who likes to watch my videos and then go and talk about me as if I'm crazy for cleaning headstones and talking out loud. Lilla, I believe everybody should be a little bit crazy. In this life as well as in our afterlife. And I do believe that who we are on earth while we're living is who we continue to be in heaven. I do believe that. I'm going to finish scrubbing this part and then water it down and see where we're at. Everybody deserves to have a clean headstone, period. And I am not the only one, clearly, in this world who enjoys cleaning headstones. Alright, I want to see where we're at really quick. I do have a lot going on in my life right now, Lilla. We are putting our house on the market and it's going on the market in like three weeks. So we have a pretty big home and obviously we're gonna have movers come for everything, but for now we are packing up things that we don't need. All right. Hmm. We've got a little bit more work to do here, Lilla. Let me see what other brushes I can use. It's funny because every night me and my husband, Chris, we always walk our dogs. And for years we've called it our walk and talk. And yet I'm always the one who talks. And that's just kind of funny because, well, that's just me. I was born talking. Before I could even talk, probably. And for a long time, I've tried to like tone down my talking, like, oh, Natalie, you talk too much. And yet, as life would happen, I'm also beginning to understand that, well, I don't really live for anybody else in those ways. I need to make sure I'm happy, and I'm not happy when I can't speak my mind. Is that where they say you either love me or you leave me? <laughs> and this one person who likes to watch my videos and talk smack about me. Well, they must be somewhat intrigued by what I do to take the time to watch these videos, right? Because if you don't care, then you're not going to make time to watch somebody for 20 minutes cleaning a headstone. So 
So it's all about perspective and I'm trying to find new ways of appreciating those in life that I share this world with, be they family or not. We do have the realtor coming out this afternoon. It could have been so easy for me to say I was just too busy to come out here today. But I know my good routine in the cemetery is one of my greatest routines. Where I really, really do find peace. Lilla, your headstone is extremely dirty and it's at a point where I can't get rid of all of these spots, but I can certainly shine you up a little bit, right? a lot of people on YouTube that clean headstones and they do them really fast, like in two seconds. With no chemicals or anything, they just scrape them. And I've tried that before, but really for me, I enjoy doing the good scrubbing. The good cleaning. As well as taking the time to chat with spirits. When I say I chat with spirit, it's not that spirit always chats back with me. That's not what it's about either. It's kind of like therapy without a bill. Free therapy. to me too. A lot of the headstones that I find to clean at first I think, oh, this won't be a big job. And those are the ones that always are the biggest job. Just talking to my family about a party that I went to in college and I didn't know if her name was Leela or Layla. And she got so mad at me. I guess because she was like, if you're at my party and you don't know how to pronounce my name, why are you here? That's what you call memories. And memories are good to have. Life stories. That was fun. We were actually out at Habanero's restaurant the other night with my family and one of our daughter's boyfriends. And Chris and I were talking about when we first met 30 years ago. Willa, I do see you're buried next to your husband and your mother. It's always somewhat sad to me when I find a headstone that, well, there's nobody next to them. Family, I mean. I don't rush any of my cleanings here. The 
It's not about time when I'm at the cemetery. Think about who's buried here. It's no longer about time. And yet, because it is about time for us in life still, it's nice to be able to take the time to visit with such unknown spirit. So this is a little bit hard on me today as well because I have a lot of blisters on my hands from doing all this work at our own home, getting it ready to be put on the market. Thank goodness for the gloves, otherwise my hands would be so sore right now. can't get the whole stone clean, at least I can get the letters clean, right? I suppose I am still having a hard time dealing with such negative people in my life who want to judge me for the things I do, like cleaning headstones. I don't understand how that can be judged as a bad thing. Or how speaking out loud can be judged as a bad thing. Somehow I find it hard to believe that I'm the only one in this life that talks out loud. To the air. To a soul. To a dog. Or to myself. It's not even noon yet, and it's already about 90 degrees. And I do have a lot to do today, as always. And that's how I like my life, is to always be doing something. And not just doing something, but doing something that matters. Something that's important. what I'm trying to instill in my own daughter's lives, and that's really hard to do. And I also remember being young myself. Lilla Lilla. Let's get that water over here again. And see where we're at. I hear the crows right now. Last night when my husband and I were walking, a bunch of crows flew over our head. And he just stopped and was looking at them and I was like, Hey, that's something I normally do. Why are you looking at these crows? So I asked him, I said, what are you feeling right now? He said, I don't know. I said, do you want to hear what I first feel every time I see a crow? He said, yeah, what? I said, I remember the time you took me to your parents' house for the first time when we were dating. And you brought me outside. And you shot a crow, an innocent crow from the sky. And at that point I thought, do you even know who you're falling in love with? And there's the hawk. And 
yes, I do bore myself a lot. I do talk a lot and I bore myself. Which is why it's nice to be able to come to a cemetery and talk out loud and not be interrupted. I hear you. Alright, I think we're just going to do a little bit more work on the letters, Lilla. That's a big difference. Anyway, I was also telling my husband last night that crows are really cool. They get a bad rap. People just think about death when they see crows and all that kind of stuff. And yet crows are so special that they're the only bird, pretty much, that hawks actually allow to fly on their backs. I'm still not sure what the benefit is to the hawk. But that's nature and we're not meant to understand everything in nature. My husband also said the other day he was driving to work and a bald eagle flew over his car. I asked him again, what did you feel when you saw that eagle? So this hawk is talking to me right now, but not talking to me in a schizophrenic way, all right? LOL. My husband said he felt good when he saw the eagle. This was during March Madness, which has been this past week. And this is my husband's first time without his father. He just passed away in February. We go through the March Madness together. So each day my husband has seen the pelican, the eagle, the crows, all these different animals. And I'm so grateful for have always shared with my family the significance of spirit animals. It's not that his dad is flying around in the body of a pelican or an eagle, but that is how spirit utilizes life through nature to give us little messages to say, you know, we're all right, we really are. And it is all what we believe, that's it. We can't make anybody believe anything. All right, Lilla. One thing I don't have today is flowers. Oh my gosh. All right, Lilla, I will bring you some flowers back. Gotta make a trip to the store. So again, this is not like perfectly clean is the way that I would like it, but it still is much nicer. Beautiful, Lilla. Lilla, thank you for your life. Thank you for 
joining in this conversation with me. Nothing in life is random, including whatever that comes out of my mouth, wherever I am, whether it's a cemetery or at my house with my family or shopping at a grocery store. Nothing is random. And the sooner we all begin to understand that in life, the sooner we begin to appreciate life in greater ways. I am gonna look you up again, Lilla, when I get home and see what I can find on your life. Thank you. Until we meet again, Lilla.